guys, it's Carrie with Mama Dare City DIY, and I want to thank y'all for tuning into my channel today. If this is your first visit to my channel, I want to say a big hello, or if you're a returning subscriber, I want to say welcome back, my friends. I am really super excited about this next series, y'all, because it's a Halloween series, but it's also a Pottery Barn inspired. I'm not going to call it a knockoff because it's not exact, but it is definitely Pottery Barn inspired, and I can't wait for y'all to watch this series. I did decide to do this in short little um, videos versus grouping them together into a longer video. So I hope y'all enjoy this and if you do, give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me. And if you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That's going to give you every single time you're going to get a notification when I upload a new DIY. So keep watching y'all. I hope you enjoy this series. And if you do, share it with your friends because that's what good friends do. We share things we love with our friends. So, without further ado, let's get started. Oh my gosh, y'all, I cannot believe this is the last video in our Pottery Barn inspired series. This has been a crazy, crazy series. I can't believe that I have filmed this many videos every day in a row and y'all are still watching. So y'all, thank y'all so much for following along on this series and yeah, let's get started on this last one. Okay, so for the very last video in this Pottery Barn inspired Halloween series, we are gonna be duping the outdoor skeleton wreath. I don't even think you can get the skeleton wreath on Pottery Barn anymore. And if you could, I'm sure it would be over $100 if I'm new in Pottery Barn, probably closer to $129 if I had to take a guess. Y'all, I'm gonna have roughly $5 and some change in this one. And it's slightly different but you can definitely get the Pottery Barn vibe from it. And let's get started. So I picked up a bag of bones from Five Below that was $5. You can get these bag of bones from pretty much any of the craft stores or I don't think Dollar Tree has them, but because I haven't seen one, but my Dollar Tree doesn't have a lot of stuff. So yours may, but this one did cost me five bucks and I'm gonna use every single bone in this set. So we're gonna take the two biggest bones first. And I like to be a little different. I don't like round wreaths. For some reason, I like a square wreath. So I plan on making a square wreath for my front door. That's gonna be so inviting for my guests when they come to my party. And I just, you know, round wreaths aren't my thing. So I'm just gonna do a square one. So we're gonna start off by building a square out of our four biggest bones from this package. And I haven't done this, so we're gonna be doing this together on camera, yay. Y'all probably wouldn't expect anything else from me, would you? Um, and this is kinda what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna kinda get my shape first and we'll just kinda go from there. So I'm thinking my skull is gonna sit right in the center. And I'm gonna be dual gluing these two because y'all know that's my thing. Um, let's see. Maybe his little feet will hang over. And I thought it was kind of weird that this set did not come with, um, it didn't come with any hands. It was just feet. So I thought that was kind of weird. Okay, so I'm totally digging this shape right here. I think it's cute. What do y'all think? I think it's cute. Can y'all see everything? Yeah, I think you can. Okay, so I think I'm liking this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue in, around it. And I'm also gonna be taking my jute twine and just sort of tying the bones together just because I like the way it looks and it's also gonna give me that stability. So now that I kinda know where I'm gonna set this stuff. Let's work first by just putting, actually I'm gonna use my E6000 first because the E6000 sets up a lot slower than my hot glue. So we'll let our E6000 set for just a second. So 
then I'll put some hot glue around it. Opposite. I don't want my bones to go the same way because I kind of want it to have that kind of organic feel to it. Oh, I totally missed. Did not even get that on the places I was trying to get. That was a fail. Whoopsie. And I'm undecided about the color on this. It's kind of a gray color, kind of a weird color. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna go back and maybe touch up the color a little bit. Knowing me, I probably will, just to give it a little bit lighter color, kind of more of a bone color. Okay, now let's see. Let's see how we're gonna glue his head on. Maybe I won't miss my glue gun this time. Maybe I should measure. What do y'all think? pretty good. His feet are totally cracking me up. I don't know why, but it is. For his feet, I may just, let's see where it's hidden. I'm just going to glue this one down with hot glue because I don't know that I would ever get his foot in the right spot. I'm just gonna hit this with some hot glue. So we'll just put some hot glue on the high spots here that I think are hitting. Whoops. I guess I should have gone and done his, the twine first. So I'm gonna jump back and do that here because I'm probably gonna regret not doing it up there. So we'll just cut some twine. Let me move this up so you can see. So let's just slide our twine underneath our little bones. And we'll just kind of start wrapping it, I guess. Kind of go up and down and around just until it kind of goes around everything. I really like the way that looks, y'all. Okay, now let's see if I can duplicate that same thing. These guys, they're stuck. So now I'm gonna have to go back and wrap my twine around it. So I'm just gonna cut a couple more pieces of twine just tie all three of these pieces together instead of trying to do these two separate and then put these on I'll just tie all three of these together how about that happy accidents right
Okay, so that's, there is the, the frame part. So I think I'm gonna put, um, let's see, I think I'm gonna put this under here. This is his little spine, I guess it is. So I'll just take a little piece of twine and tie it on there. I don't even need any glue for this one. I'll just use some little pieces. probably going to be one of the quickest projects I've done for this series. I love it. Okay, so now we may take his little, these little bones and sort of make a little crossbones maybe. What do y'all think? Does that look cute? That kind of looks cute like that, huh? I think so. So, maybe what I'll do is just sort of put a little hot glue here. Because I don't want to have to tie this on. I just want it to sort of hold. So I'll just put a little bit of hot glue. Well, that piece of twine was not long enough. Cut you a real piece of twine, girl. Let's try that again. Okay. We'll put a little piece here. We'll just wrap it around. I really do think I'm going to go and just sort of hit this with a little bit of the white paint just because I think the gray bones kind of look a little weird. I'm not loving the gray bones. And y'all, I'm gonna put a little bit of twine there to hold these two bones on. And this whole project is almost done. I cannot get over how easy this was. Now, the wreath from Pottery Barn was, you know, a round wreath and had a lot more bones on it, but I didn't really want one that big and I was kind of digging the whole square thing. So that's why I decided to go with the square. But if you wanted to grab, a, you know, a couple of bag of bones, you could do that and then just add a couple of them together and make a bigger wreath. That just, you know, that wasn't the look I was going for. So that's why I chose to do the square one. Okay, y'all. This little guy's done. I may go back and put some hot glue on this little piece right here just because it's not really staying where I want it to. I think if I just put a little hot glue, that'll help. Maybe I'll stick a piece under here too. If one of the bones is stuck down, the other one should stick down too. The one thing that I really like about this wreath is it's light. Like this thing is super light. Now I may flip this over and put a little more glue in the back of my skull right here, just so it doesn't go anywhere. 
these um, Gorilla Glue Sticks, they're really pretty, you know, they're pretty good. It, it probably has the most strongest hold of any of the glue that I've ever used. But I'm just gonna fill this up with hot glue just to be on the safe side. But the rest of the bones, I don't mind if they move a little bit, but you can see I just stuck a bunch of hot glue in there. So now I'm gonna hold this and let it dry. And we'll be back in just a second and we'll give this guy a little bit of uh, vanilla paint just to kind of whiten his bones a little bit. So hold on just a second. Okay y'all, so I decided to use my linen colored paint um, in my resin paint from Rethunk Junk. If y'all have never used this paint before, I highly recommend it. It's a really cool paint. It's not like your typical chalk paint. It actually has resin in it. I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to dip straight out of the jar here. And I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of my paint on. And then I've got a, white, a wet paper towel. And I'm just going to kind of wash over just to kind of give it some some color to it because I'm not a big fan of this gray color. I mean, it's okay for, for like shadows and stuff, but I want my bones to be a little bit whiter. the way this little wreath turned out. I know it's not exactly like the one from Pottery Barn, but I think I like this one better. I just love a square wreath to put on my front door. You know, I have a kind of a glass door and it, the round wreaths don't really look that great on my door, but the square ones on the other hand, that's totally my jam. So the wreath from Pottery Barn, I can't find an exact cost on it, but if I'm assuming it's probably somewhere between $79 and $129 from Pottery Barn and ours, was just $5 for this little bag of bones from Five Below. So y'all, this is the very last video in this series. Well, it's actually not the last video. This is the very last project in this Pottery Barn inspired Halloween series. And I hope that y'all have enjoyed it. I promise I'm gonna make one more video for y'all and I'm gonna put everything together, just like I'm gonna set it up for my party just so you can see what everything looks like. I'm super excited to see it all set up together because I haven't even seen it yet. So yeah, this series is done. Let me know your favorite project in the comments below. What was your favorite? Which one did you not like? You know, let me, let me know your thoughts on that. And also let me know what else you might wanna see in the future. Did you enjoy this Halloween series? Would you maybe wanna see a Christmas series? Let me know in the comments below. And y'all, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me. And I've got to get off of here and I'm going to get everything set up and I'm going to let y'all see everything all set up together. So happy DIYing y'all.